We're gonna celebrate It's Christmas time The day that Jesus came Grab your family and your friends Tell the world what Christmas is The day God sent us His Son
time for another Bible story, and I can't wait with you. But I know, it's kind of crazy. I still look a little bit like Christmas, huh? And you guys already had Christmas. Yeah. But you know what? There's three guys that didn't visit Jesus the night that he was born. It was the three wise men. Wise men traveled a long ways to come find Jesus, and it wasn't the night that he was born. They traveled for so long that it took a while for them to get Jesus. So it may already be Christmas, but we still get to celebrate Jesus because the wise men were on their way to still visit Jesus. Let's find Chipper. Chipper, Chipper, where is that dog? Oh, there you are, hey Chipper. So Chipper, do you have a good day? Yeah, do you see all these stars behind me? Yeah, there's a lot of stars, huh, Chipper? How do you pick just one? You don't know, huh? How do you guys know? How do you pick just one? Well, that's what the wise men had to do. They had to pick one, the brightest North Star to follow and find where Jesus was. They didn't have a map. They didn't have Google. They only had a star to follow. And it was the brightest, most brilliant star in all the land that they had to follow. Now, Chipper, I brought something kind of cool for us. Ooh, do you see that? Look at all those stars. It can be kind of confusing, can it, Chipper? Like, which star are we supposed to follow? And you know, I'm sure the wise men felt like that sometimes too. But they just kept on following God and they kept on listening to him and they were able to follow the right star because we only worship Jesus. And they wanted to go and worship the son of God that was born. And so friends, I wanna tell you, only follow Jesus. He is the only way that we can get to heaven is Jesus. Right, Chipper? Mm-hmm. So the, the shepherds, I mean, the wise men, they found the right star to follow, right? And we have that. We have the Bible today. So let's open up the Bible and let's see what God has to tell us for today. Okay, Chipper? The B-I-V-L-E. Yes, that's the book for me. I stand alone on the word of God, the B-I-B-L-E, Bible. <laughs> Great job, Chipper. Bye, Chipper. Okay, we're going to read from the Bible all about these wise men that came to visit Jesus. The king, a special star shone in the sky. Let's follow it to the promised king. The wise men cried and they traveled a long way to Jerusalem. Harold told them, go find this king so I can worship him too. The star led the wise men to Jesus' house and they bowed in worship. Then they brought out wonderful gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. That night, God warned the wise men, Harold is coming. Don't help him find Jesus. The wise men left the town secretly and praise God they rejoiced. We've seen the king. All right, friends, it's that time. Go find your pencils, your crayons maybe color pencils, ooh, markers too. And let's see what Corinne is gonna color today. Oh, jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in one horse open sleigh. Hey! Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in one horse open sleigh. Dashing through the snow. In a one horse open sleigh O'er the fields we go Laughing all the way Bells on bobtails ring Making spirits bright What fun it is to ride and sing a sleighing song tonight Oh, jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one horse open sleigh Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one horse open sleigh. Time to see Korean color. <laughs> Happy birthday, Jesus! Oh, is it not baby Jesus' birthday anymore? Well, I just love saying it so much. It's okay. We can still say, happy birthday, Jesus. I know. Isn't it so much fun? And we can celebrate him all year round. That's right. We can talk about him anytime, anywhere, 
in any place. Uh-huh, because he's amazing. Now, in our Bible story today, we learned about three wise men who they saw a special star shining in the sky. So they followed it and it led them to Jesus. And they brought him gifts because they wanted to celebrate the fact that God sent his one and only son down to the earth. Isn't that so amazing? So I was thinking, how about we draw them? I know, but you guys are awesome at drawing and I know you got this, okay? And remember, if at any point you can raise your hand and someone will come and help you, okay? Now, we're gonna draw them super simple, but it's still gonna be a ton of fun. Now, for the wise men, we're basically gonna draw a triangle for their body and we're gonna draw a circle for their head. Those are shapes you guys know, right? Yeah, so let me show you how we're gonna do it. We're gonna go up and we're gonna make it really tall, okay? We're gonna go down and back across. So right here, go up, go down, and back across to close it, okay? There we go, now that's one. Let's draw two more, okay? Right next to it, go up, into a point, back down, and across. Good job, friends. Now one more right here, go up, into a point, back down, and across. Good job. Now, those kind of just look like some really spiky mountains, huh? So we need to add a circle and that's gonna be their head, okay? So here, I'm gonna draw a circle right here, a circle right here, and a circle right here. Hmm, those are looking good. Now, before we add anything else to these wise men, how about we draw the special star that they were following? Cause that's what led them to Jesus and that's what they saw in the sky. Now, for our star, we're gonna draw a lot of lines, okay? But it's all gonna be super easy. It's just gonna be straight lines. We're gonna go down, across, through, and then through again, okay? So the first thing you're gonna do is go up and down. Draw lines going up and down. There you go, now we're gonna draw a cross, okay? So now draw a line going across it. Look, friends, it kinda looks like a cross, but we didn't mean to draw a cross, so we're gonna add a few more things. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go from here to here, so kinda like through it. You start at the bottom and you end at the top, okay? So now draw through it. There you go, now one more time on the other side. You're gonna start at the bottom and end at the top. You can, go, you can go up and down a few times to make it really bright so you can see it. Look at our stars, so nice. Now, hmm, I think we need to add a few more things now to our wise men. So first thing I'm gonna draw is I'm gonna draw a little box right here in front of this one because they all brought gifts and you can make them whatever color you want. So here's their gifts and they all brought three different gifts but I'm just gonna draw mine the same color just so I remember. And I'm gonna make them kind of like a square because remember that first week we drew a square gift box. Now I'm gonna give them some crowns because they were kings. So I'm gonna draw a line going across and I'm gonna make it spiky. There we go, make it spiky like a mountain. There you go friends, good job. Kind of looks like they're wearing a funny hat, huh? Hmm, I think that's almost good. I think we need to add two more things though. An eye and a smile. Now remember, we're looking at them from the side so we can only see one eye. And for my eye, I'm just gonna do a dot because they're kind of, they're smaller and I don't wanna do a ton of detail, okay? So we're just gonna do a little dot for their eye and we're gonna do a smile, okay? Because they are so happy, they are following the star and it is leading them to Jesus. All right, look at the three wise men, so cool. And don't forget to add the gifts because they were celebrating the birth of Jesus. That's right, God's own son came down to this world and they got to go celebrate it. Now friends, I wanna see yours, hold them up. I'm gonna put on my goggles so I can see them. Whoa, look at that one. Oh, you did so good at drawing your star. Oh, and look at the gifts they're carrying for Jesus. Oh, look at your wise men, friend. They look so happy. You guys did so good. I give you double thumbs up. Good job, friends. Now, that's all I have for today. So I'll see you again soon. Bye, friends. Merry Christmas! Christmas! Wait, oh. wait, is it over yet? It, it kind of is, but you wonder what? Oh. I love celebrating Jesus. Oh, me too, me too. And that's what Christmas is all about. It is. Yeah. And actually, like, the story we're going to tell you about mm -hmm. is, like, the wise men. Okay. And the wise men came after Jesus was oh, born. Oh, so they weren't there till after his birthday. So can we still celebrate, Corinne? Why not? Okay. All right, friends. All right.
What's the memory verse again, Corinne? Today in the town of David, a Savior has been born to you. Luke 2, 11. Now, are you guys ready to do the action moves with that? I am. I, I am. am. Okay, I am. ready? All right. Today in the town of David, a Savior has been born to you. Luke 2, 11. Hmm. You know, talking about the wise men who some people also call them kings, it mm. makes me think maybe we should say our Bible verse like a king. Ooh, okay, Corrin. So, so I need a little bit of a deep voice. You gotta stand up tall. Stand up tall. Stand up tall, friends. Can I, can I put on my crown? Oh, yes. Put a fake, I'm gonna put a fake crown on my head. Okay. See, it's so sparkly and shiny. Ooh. And I'm gonna Ooh. try and use a deep voice. Can oh. you guys use a deep voice? Corrin, I oh, think deep. I got can it on. Go? I got okay. it on. Okay. You go. guys ready? Yep. All right. Today, in the town of David, a Savior has been born to you. Luke 2, 11. Good job, friends. Oh, that Good was job. fabulous. Like that was fabulous. Wave. They are. Woof, woof. Good job. You guys are all royalty in my book. All royalty. All right. Good job, friends. <laughs> all right. One last time. We want you to say happy birthday to Jesus. Here we go. Happy birthday, Jesus.